No one said that life was going to be easy, but also no one really prepared us for what's to come in our future. What's up guys, it's your boy Flick, and today I'm going to go over a touchy subject. It's a subject that many people can't really understand. For all of you that follow my channel, I want you guys to be strong and I'm going to show you how to survive in this cruel, cold world. This sounds interesting guys, well, let's get to it. One of the things that I want all you guys to understand is that all of us are fighting a battle within ourselves or are fighting issues that you're trying to overcome and thus it makes our life a bit harder. See guys, I fought many issues in my life since the time where I was a lot younger till now. I'm always battling some kind of battle, whether it's haters, whether it's my health, whether it's my crappy baby mama trying to give me a hard time for my son. But be there as it may, guys. We have to always overcome our battles by being strong-minded. There are a lot of you guys out there that are fighting battles on your own. And I want to let you know that you're not alone. That you have somebody that's fighting a battle similar to yours. And we, we can all relate to one thing. Is that the outcome is always greater than your downfall. To survive, I want you to understand one thing and one thing only. Is that in this world, you are alone. No one is fighting a battle with you. Like many others, like your parents, like your brothers, like your sisters, like your aunts and your uncles. We are all fighting a spiritual battle or some kind of physical battle. And in reality, we are on our own. We need to learn how to stand on our own. We need to know how to dictate our lives on our own. No one's going to come to save you. No one is going to save you and let you know how to run your life or how to do things. Yes, you can seek therapy and you can seek counseling. But at the end of the day, guys, this battle, you are going to have to fight alone and learn how to cope and deal with the pain and the issues and grow from that. Turn your story from a tragedy to triumph. And that's what I did. So what you do, guys, is you become mind strong. Mind strong is that no matter what, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Another thing that I want all of you guys to understand is stop playing the victim. Because in reality, guys, when you play the victim mentality, you will always find excuses of why you don't grow and why you don't change your situation. You always think that someone is holding you down and you always think that someone is out there to get you. And in reality, guys, we are responsible for our own success. It doesn't matter whether you're black, you're white, Hispanic, different creed, male or female. We all have the same opportunities as others. And when you play the victim, guys, you truly do become a victim. And this is one of the things that I want all of you guys to understand is that when you play that victim mentality, you're holding yourself down. And guys, to be honest with you, we are all, all of us, we are all accountable for our own actions. And some of the situations that we are in right now are because of us. We put ourselves in that situation. So now what do we do to fix it? I want all of you guys to understand that if you are willing and able, meaning that if you have both feet, both legs, walk, and run physically, there is no excuse why you should be struggling. Fellas, we all have the same opportunities. It's just about how hard you are willing to work for it. You see all these wealthy people on the internet, why are they there? Because they work hard for their success. And don't be a hater, because this is one of the reasons why a lot of you guys are envious is because you guys are not willing to put in the hard work. What makes you a survivor, a hard worker, a person that's a go-getter, a person that takes no for an answer? Guys, I'll be honest with you. I have it in my mind that no matter what, I have to work hard for mines. And it doesn't matter what I do because none of these people pay my bills. And I'm gonna let you know right now that if worse came to worse, I would work at a McDonald's, but I would tell you that I will work so hard that I will own a McDonald's the following year it doesn't matter what you do in life and it doesn't matter where you work. Another thing that I want all of you guys to understand is the company that you keep. See guys, the company that you keep has a lot to do with your success and your overall well-being and it also determines your future. 
If you hang out with the wrong crowd, guys, best believe that you will end up like that crowd. But if you hang around with winners, then you will become a winner. And thus, you will become successful. And thus, you will be a very successful person. But if you hang around with the bad crowd, guys, like I once used to do when I was a lot younger, then you're looking at a life of trouble, which is going to bring heartbreak. It's going to bring a lot of devastation to your life. But in this world, you are given two paths, the right or the left. You choose and you choose wisely. The number one thing that you need to do to survive this cruel, cold world, never give up. Always believe in yourself. Always learn the lessons from whatever situation that you come out of. If you don't learn, guys, you will keep making the same mistakes over and over, and thus you will blame other people. Like I said before, we are responsible for our future, and we are responsible for whatever happens to us in our lives. And I want to let you know, guys, to focus and to never give up. No matter what the outcome is in your life, whether it's good or bad, remember all things work great for all those who believe in God and those that believe in Christ. See, guys, I'm letting you know right now, that times will get tough and there will be days where you just don't want to get out of bed and there will be days when you just want to give up and you just want to say to yourself that I just want to quit. But guys, life is tough. No one said that this world was going to be easy. We need to be mind strong. We need to focus and we need to believe in ourselves that one day we will reach our goals and we will reach our pursuit of happiness. And I hope you found this video informative. If you did like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys wanna see next. I am your boy Flick, improving your life one video at a time. And until next time guys, peace.